Let me tell you the ancient Greek tale of the ship of Theseus. Our story begins when Theseus and his grand ship and crew leave on their maiden voyage. Now every time they come back to their home dock of Athens, uh, planks and oars and parts of the ship that had started to rot are replaced with brand new ones. As well, some crew members get replaced by new crew members, little by little. But little by little, this happens throughout the years, and eventually it comes to a point where every single plank, every single piece of wood that made up the ship, as well as every crew member on the ship, has been replaced by someone or something new. So, is it still the same ship that left on the maiden voyage, or is it a different ship? Now, if you say that it's not the same ship, when exactly did it become a different ship? Was it when the first piece of wood was replaced? Or was it when the last piece of wood was replaced? Or do we choose some arbitrary point somewhere in between, like, say, when less than half of the ship was original? And then there's the follow-up. Supposing that all the pieces of wood that were being replaced were being kept somewhere where they were being preserved, and kept in at least halfway decent shape. And then after every single last piece of wood was finally replaced, someone took the original plans, rebuilt the original ship, or a model, should we say, of the original ship, using the original pieces of wood, and then found all the original crew members, including Theseus himself, set them sail on Theseus II. Which one is the real ship of Theseus? Is it the one that's been getting uh, replaced, has all new parts? Or is it the model that has been built from all the original parts? Certainly for continuity, we're always referring to the first one, the one that's had everything replaced as the ship of Theseus, because that's the one which has kept the name. That's the one thing that it still has. Uh, likewise, like the River of Heraclitus, uh, both of these are, are in a link. Uh, I'll put it there in the, in the sidebar. Uh, of course, you may be familiar with that riddle also, which is that you never step in the same river twice, because, of course, the second time you step in it, the water has moved. But yet, when we name a river, be it the River of Heraclitus or, say, the Mississippi River, if I were to start talking about the Mississippi River, you would understand that I'm talking about not just the river as it is right now, at this moment, but also as it was two years ago, and as it was 200 years ago before the great New Madrid earthquake changed its course. So, whether it is or isn't the same river, we're using the name to refer to what is more the process of the river and not the actual water that's in the river itself. And so the same goes with the ship of Theseus. Now let me ask you another question. Are you the same person you were ten years ago? Or are you somebody else? Now, certainly, in those ten years, you've learned new things, acquired new memories, but you've also forgotten others. And, of course, you may have gained weight or lost weight. And then, as far as your molecular makeup goes, every time you inhale and eat, as well as every time you exhale and excrete, the atoms that make up your body have changed just a little bit. But those little changes add up. You probably have mostly different atoms in your body now than you did 10 years ago. Well, what about the cells in your body? There's another article linked over there in the sidebar. Turns out that after 7 to 10 years, almost all of the cells in your body have been replaced with newer, younger cells. Now, there are some which are so interconnected with other cells that they pretty much remain with you for life, but most cells turn over much faster, some very quickly. Uh, your skin cells, blood cells, and liver cells 
turn over at an amazingly rapid pace. You, you have a different liver now than you did last year. But on average, over 90% of your cells that you had 10 years ago are not there anymore. They've been replaced by newer, younger cells. So, are you you? Or are you the you from 10 years ago? Or are you a new you? Or is you the process? Because when it comes down to it, every one of us, you, 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 and me, are all walking, talking, breathing ships of Theseus.